Hi fellow flowers and welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you a tutorial from my backyard of all places. It was just really nice out today and I really wanted to make something for you. So I thought I would go with something simple because um, I want to make sure that everyone has a good foundation for when I do make those kind of more complicated videos. So today for you I am making a zigzag stitch. So I'm only using two colors so that you can really see and understand the effect of what's going on. I'm going to start off the lanyard by taking two colors of equal length, you can maybe whatever length you really want them to be, um, and then I'm grabbing them at the ends and then meeting them in the middle with my hands. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my pink string over my yellow string and hold them in between my fingers like so. I'm going to take my thumb and place it on top of both of the strings. And since my yellow string is on bottom, I'm going to form two loops with that. And if you notice, behind my, my hand, I have this finger, my ring finger, and I'm just going to clip and hold down that yellow string. And with the other yellow string, I'm going to do the same thing with my ring or with my middle finger. Next, I'm taking the pink string and I'm going over this first yellow string and I'm going to go underneath the next yellow string and I'm going to reach in between my fingers here in my hand and I need to grab the other side of the pink string. I'm going to move this one out of the way, tuck it, I'm just going to hold it like that and then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to do the same thing by going over and under the yellow strings here. So over this first one and then under and through the loop of the second one. So you'll immediately notice that you went through the wrong loop if the whole thing falls apart and you don't get this pattern. Okay, so now for the next part of the zigzag tutorial. Um, and right now at this point, I'm just going to kind of like make sure all my strings are even. So just kind of ignore what I'm doing. But um, for the zigzag Really what makes it a zigzag is you have usually like some number of twist stitches and then you do one straight or box stitch and then you go back to doing your twist stitch. So when you do your straight stitch in between those twists, it causes this interruption that causes the direction of your lanyard to change and that's what causes your zigzag effect. So let's go ahead and do a couple of the twist stitches and then a box stitch so that I can show you that zigzag effect. So if I did this where I brought my that top yellow string down into that empty yellow space as like a position for those loops, I'm just going to end up with the box stitch, which is what I don't want. I want to do the twist stitch. So instead of going there, I'm going to bring it to the other side of my yellow, the bottom yellow string, which is over here. So off to the side, hence twist, like that twist motion is going to happen. And then that bottom string, I blocked his yellow space. So he's forced to go up to the side as well. So now I have two loops like I normally would. And the idea is to go over a loose string and under a loop to lock everything down. So here we go, I'm taking my pink string and I've gone over the first yellow string that's on the right and underneath the yellow string on the left. And then here I'm doing kind of the opposite. I'm going over the yellow string that's on the left and going underneath the yellow string on the right. And I'm pulling it all tight. And this is what is going to give me the twist effect. Now I'm going to do the twist stitch two more times to give me a total of three twist stitches and then I'm going to do one box stitch. Now what's really important is that your number of box stitches is odd. So if I do three twist stitches and then two box stitches, my direction of the lanyard is going to be the same as it was before and I'm not going to get the zigzag effect. It's just going to look like twist interruption then twist again in the same direction. So to get the zigzag, it's really important that the box stitch number is odd. So one, three, five, seven, and then you'll get the direction changing on you. 
So again, I'm just gonna do the twist stitch two more times and then we'll do the box stitch. And there you can see the twist beginning to happen on the lanyard. And you can count if you're ever unsure of how many stitches you've done. So far I've count one, two, three of the twist stitch. And so now it's time for me to do my box stitch. To do this, I'm taking my yellow string that was pointed upwards and I've pulled him down into the empty space directly in that bottom right corner. And then with this, the yellow string that was on bottom, I've pulled him up and gone into the top left corner. And then with my pink strings, I'm just going over and under. So the pink string went over the yellow string on the left and under the yellow string on the right. And then with the bottom string, doing the same but opposite or like same but flipped, where I go over the yellow string that's on the right. And then I'm going underneath the yellow string on the left. And I'm going to pull it all tight. So you'll notice that all of the strings end up just going straight across as opposed to off to the side, which makes the twist. And now I'm going to pull it all tight. And now I'll go back to doing my twist stitch where I go off to the side instead of doing the straight across that happens with the box stitch. And this is what's going to give me the zigzag effect. After a couple of stitches, this is what is beginning to form. I'm going to continue doing that pattern of three twist stitches, then one box stitch, three twist, one box, and eventually I'll end up with this. So I hope you enjoyed this explanation of the zigzag stitch um, and little tutorial. You can do this with bigger lanyards and it comes out with a really cool effect. This is the zigzag that's been done on a scuba tunnel. And here's the zigzag on a five by one lanyard. So thanks for watching and like and subscribe if you like this video and let me know what you'd like to see next. Thank you and keep blooming, bye.